Hey guys, I'm taking a look at a new game today. Arma Mobile Ops. Now Arma is a PC franchise, which is kind of renowned for its military details and accuracy. It's kind of like a hardcore first person shooter. Now this is nothing like that, of course. They have expanded into the kingdom building engineer on mobile phones. So you're looking at my base here now. If you played Empire and Allies or Boom Beach or Clash of Clans, you you know what's going on here. Okay, it's very similar. You have a headquarters, you have a barracks. You have the two resources plus uh, gems. You have builders. I mean, this interface looks all very familiar. Now, they kind of ripped off Empire and Allies here with the way they deliver their supplies. I'm pretty sure they do helicopters. The drop off on supply paths too. Now that doesn't mean everything's rip off. There are some interesting differences here. For instance, your troops have the ability to. Your troops have the ability to gain experience points and rank up. So instead of just upgrading your troop type, they can level up through battle. And they persist through battles. So you'll want to keep your more veteran troops. So when you lose a veteran troop, it might hurt. You nor do the normal upgrade headquarters. There's a supply deposit. I like that it's kind of camouflaged. A fuel depot. Yeah, this is all pretty standard. Supply plants. You have your office building where this is where you get new troops. Apparently involves a paperwork. So there's a bunch of troops you can get. Take a look at the settings. You've got medals and leagues. Tournaments. So you have a league based on the medals or players tournaments. Oh, I was hoping this would have to do with an actual tournament. Sounds like it's just a leaderboard. You got a bunch of stuff you can build. Resources, vault. Oh, the vault is where you get, oh, command points is what they call their gems. Spend a hundred bucks. I don't think I'll be doing that. So I have my fire teams. Let's go attack something. They also have achievements like Clash of Clans. They work on a three-star system. Let's do multiplayer just for fun. The combat is a little different than what you might expect. The game just launched, so I have no idea. All right, so here we go. I don't know what's going to happen here. Looks all very similar. Let's deploy my fire team. Now, I'm supposed to be able to... direct them I thought oh no they have machine guns many more machine guns than I have and there are walls so this is going to be a loss. I did not even see those machine guns. 
So individuals of your unit fire team can die, which is interesting. We'll see if I get any loot when I fail the mission. So far, I'm not really seeing much in this game to, to set it apart from the other ones I'm playing, other than its setting. I also noticed that the loot is not decreasing as I capture it. So I'm either not capturing any loot yet, or I did get one star, so I will claim somewhat of a victory. And that's nice, they do go around the wall. Yeah, it's not that the loot's not decrementing. We'll see if I get it at the end. Alright, so I lost. I did not get much in the way of loot though. I did get ten medals. Interesting. All right, well, that about covers it for this first look. Check it out if you want. I'll post more interesting stuff if I manage to find it. See you later.